Hello everyone! Lossless Scaling has just released a new update, version 3.0, featuring the new LSFG 3.0. Here are the key improvements and recommendations. The new Lossless Scaling 3.0 introduces several key improvements, including improved quality with reduced flickering and better motion clarity for enhanced smoothness, while lowering GPU load by up to 45%. Note that there is no performance mode with LSFG 3.0, but instead, you can adjust resolution scaling. Also, improved latency and an unlocked multiplier up to X20, but for Lenovo Legion Go X2 and X3 are sufficient. For the best experience, aim for at least 30 FPS, with 40 FPS preferred and 60 FPS ideal. Additionally, always lock the frame rate for better overall performance. Here is my first recommended setting. Set the display resolution to match the in-game resolution at 1200p. Set the frame generation type to LSFG 3.0 with X2 mode. For a resolution scale of 1200p, set it to 66%, allowing the game to render at 800p and upscale to 1200p with barely noticeable loss in image quality. Since 66% is not available, I chose 65% in resolution scaling, as there are only two options between 65 and 70. For scaling type, I chose AMD FSR and added sharpness at 8, which enhances the visual quality and make it even look better than the native 1200p. For sync mode, I set it to off to allow tearing for better latency, and the max frame latency is set to 3, which is the recommended value for AMD. For Legion settings, I set it to performance mode with a TDP of 30 watts, OS power mode to efficiency, display resolution at 1920 by 1244 hertz, and VRAM set to auto. Here is the first game I'm testing today, Elden Ring. The game is running at 1920 by 1200 with medium settings. This is the game without lossless scaling. It's running with a base FPS around 42 FPS. Now I've turned on lossless scaling with all the settings I mentioned earlier. This is the game with lossless scaling X2, with the resolution scale at 65%. The game maintains a really nice base FPS, averaging from 42 FPS to 38 to 40 FPS after activating frame generation, while barely noticeable loss of image quality. It even looks better than the native 1200p with the scaling type FSR, set to sharpness at 8. Now I've capped the base FPS to 36 with RevaTuner for better overall performance. This is the game with the base FPS capped at 36, using lossless scaling X2 to double it to 72 FPS. The game runs very smoothly with no noticeable input lag, and the movement feels natural with no lag or stuttering. However, with the base FPS at 36, the artifact at the bottom of the screen still exists, though I think it's less noticeable than in the previous version. You can expect better results with a higher base frame rate, such as 40 FPS for 60 FPS output. This is the second recommended setting. Set the display resolution to match the in-game resolution at 1000p and set the resolution scale to 80% to downscale the input to 800p with no noticeable loss in image quality when lossless scaling is active. Keep all other settings the same as the previous ones. For the display resolution, I changed it to 1600 by 1000 since we use borderless full screen when using lossless scaling, so the display resolution must match the in-game resolution. Here is the second game I'm testing today, Hogwarts Legacy. The game is running at 1600 by 1000 with low and medium textures. 
This is the game without lossless scaling. It's running with a base FPS around 43 FPS to 46 FPS. Now I've turned on lossless scaling with all the settings I mentioned earlier. This is the game with lossless scaling X2, with the resolution scale at 80%. The game still maintains a good base FPS, averaging around 38 to 40 FPS after activating frame generation, with barely any noticeable loss of image quality. Now I've capped the base FPS to 40 with Riva Tuner for better overall performance. With the base FPS capped at 40 and lossless scaling X2 doubling it to 80 FPS, the game runs seamlessly, delivering smooth performance with no noticeable input lag. Movement feels natural and stuttering is absent. The artifact at the bottom of the screen is less noticeable at 40 frames per second compared to 36 frames per second, improving further as the base frames per second cap is raised. The higher the base FPS, the less ghosting and fewer artifacts are observed. In conclusion, this is one of the best updates from lossless scaling, as it brings noticeable improvements such as reduced artifacts and ghosting, along with improved input lag. The resolution scale feature, which allows users to set the input resolution render without affecting image quality, is also one of its standout features. I will continue testing with more games in my next video. Remember to cap the FPS when using lossless scaling based on the game's actual performance. 40 to 50 FPS is often the sweet spot for minimizing noticeable artifacts. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Rather a boy coming back this way. Defender. Expelled. Descender. Expelled. Expelled.